Claire Kegel Artists, Mrs. Boyer here in my garage. I am going to do a demo for you today that's all about printmaking, but we're gonna be using some things that you can find in your kitchen to create some bubble prints. And I know it's kind of hard to see it, it's a little bit faint with all this shiny sunlight and stuff, but you can see kind of my little bubble prints that I made on there, my little test run I did the other day. Um, my daughter Gwen and I gave it a try, um, and we learned a little bit along the way about the right amount of food coloring, because we are gonna use some food coloring to turn our bubbly water different colors. And um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how I'm going to set up my space so that you can try it at home if you have all this stuff too. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All bit. right, Clark Eagles, we have a uh, sheet pan, and I'm gonna suggest that you use one of these, especially if you're going to try this inside your home. Um, it's a really beautiful day outside at my house. See? <laughs> so we are doing this outside. I'm in my garage, so it's not so bright. But here's kind of some of the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some paper, and I have um, two different sizes, a few containers so that you can do different colors, um, we are going to use some food coloring to uh, and mix even some of the colors to maybe make some secondary colors. Um, so we're going to have three different colors today. Um, a pencil if you um, and somebody else is going to do this with you so you can write your name on your paper. A paintbrush that we're going to use to stir um, some straws. It doesn't have to be a um, disposable straw if you have like a bamboo straw or a metal straw at home you can use that too. I have um, a jug of clean water and some sort of dish soap to make it bubbly. Okay, so we said this is called bubble printing. So what is a print? If you've ever made a stamp on your paper, if you've ever done some finger painting and you printed with your finger, you've done printmaking before. Um, so basically a print is when you press something down and then you lift it off, kind of like a stamp. Uh, but we're going to be pressing our paper down onto our bubbles and lifting our paper up so that it leaves a print on our paper. Now the first few times you do this, it's going to look a little bit light and a little bit faint and you're going to wonder, is there anything even on here? Uh, but once your paper dries all the way, your food coloring and your print should show up a little bit darker than what it looks like right at the beginning. So don't fret. <laughs> All right, Clark Eagles, here we go. So like I talked about, try and keep everything on the pan to help contain the mess so it doesn't get everywhere. Um, but what you're gonna do is first thing, find your piece of paper, and I want you to put your name on it. Don't worry, you don't need your class code, ha ha ha. Um, and I like to leave it so that my name is on the back, so I'm gonna flip over so my bubbles are on the front. But if you're doing this just on your own, then no need to put your name. Uh, next thing that you're going to do is I'm going to take my dish soap. So I just have some Dawn dish soap, but whatever you have around the sink is good. And we're going to put about two teaspoons in each of our containers, depending on how many, whoo, <laughs> on how many containers you have. So looks a little bit like that much. And you can always add more if you're not getting enough bubbles, but that's a good place to start. After that, I'm gonna take my clean water and I'm gonna add a little bit of water, maybe like half a cup or so. Also, again, just kind of depends on your container. Once you start blowing some bubbles, if you're not getting enough, add some more soap or if it's um, too uh, watery, you can add, um, or if it's not watery enough, just add a little bit more water. We're gonna use our paintbrush and we're gonna stir the bubbles into the water, just so that we don't see the blue anymore. So there's one, two, and three. Ooh, splash it. That's why you need that pan. <laughs> All right, and so from here, you can kind of pick and use your food colorings depending on what colors you want to do. So I'm gonna use just some regular blue and you want to use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of food coloring. That's what Gwen and I figured out the other day. The more color you use, the more drops you squeeze in there, the better. And you can always go back and add more color if you want. I'm gonna do blue. I think I'm gonna do some green. 
So again, a lot of drops. The more drops, the better. You don't need to empty out the whole container, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and then the last one, I think, what do you think? I think I'll mix some red in with some yellow. What should that get me? Red mixing with yellow is gonna give me, say it out loud, orange, that's right. Red and orange, or red and yellow make orange. So I'm gonna put some yellow in there, mix it up. But try different color combinations. Think of the color wheel, think of the color mixing we've done in art class, and that'll kind of help you decide. So I'm gonna use my paintbrush again and just kind of mix the color, food coloring, in with the bubbly water, just so that it's all incorporated in there. Now kind of like when you were painting in class, before you take this yellow, orangey color and dip it in with another color, kind of rinse it off into that water that we have laying off on the other side, just in case. So mix that green in there. Get that in there. And then a little bit of green is not going to hurt the blue, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix that one in there. Now we are ready to do a little bubble blowing. Okay, I'm going to put this guy off to the side. So I have my straw ready and I have my paper and all my colors. So we are ready to start blowing some bubbles. Now, I never want you to, we're not going to drink this water, so we're only going to blow air through the straw. We are never going to suck up any of the bubbly water because yuck, that would be disgusting. So here we go. I am going to, I think I'm going to start with my orange, you guys. So I'm going to put my straw down in my orange and I'm going to take a deep breath and blow. Okay, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to print it down onto my bubbles and I can move my paper around, kind of get it on all the different corners if I want it all over. And then let's see. Oh, that's pretty good so far. So I have some bubbles left on my paper and they'll kind of pop on their own, but you can kind of see the shapes of some of the bubbles that I just printed. So cool, you guys. Let's try another color. I'm gonna rinse my little straw off in my water. Let's go with some green next, okay? Here we go. Once again, blow out, but don't suck it up into your straw. Oh, big bubbles, here we go. I'm gonna take the same paper, the one that I printed the orange on, I'm gonna print it on my green. Smash down my little green bubbles. Here we go. So we've got a few little green bubble prints on there. Looking pretty good so far. I think I want a little bit more green. I'm gonna do it again. Here we go. Print, smash, smush it. Woo! There we go. Looking good. I'm gonna get that little corner there. So lovely. I'm liking it so far. What do you guys think? Pretty good? I think I'm gonna add the blue too. But when you're doing this, you can make each paper its own color. Um, you can do just two colors or however many you have, depending on what colors you choose. I'm sure it'll look great no matter what you guys choose. All right, last one, blue. Whoa, that one went out of the container. <laughs> I'm gonna press that on there. Smush my little blue bubbles down. I'm gonna scoot you guys over so you can see a little bit better. Okay. There's even some on the tray. I'll try and get some of those too. All right, let's see. The blue's not showing up too much. Maybe I should do a little bit more. Let's try a little bit more. I'm gonna give it one more little stir too. Make sure that blue is all mixed up in there. Okay, let's do one more. Smush, smush, smush. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I'm loving it. All right, so after you are kind of, you're pretty happy with what you've done with your paper, set it off to the side and try another one. At the end of the video, we'll talk about some of the things that we can do with our bubble paper, okay? Oh, I hope you guys have fun. I want to see what you guys do when you make your bubble print. So if you want to make a video and send it to me, you can. Um, you can email it to me at the email that I'll show at the end. You can post it on Google Classroom or you can even post it on um, the Visual Arts Seesaw page too. I'll, I check all those places every day. All right, let's have some fun.
All right, Clark Eagles. So let's talk about what are we gonna do with these beautiful bubble prints that you guys create? So something that you could try is think about the studios that we have in our classroom. We have painting studio, drawing, collage, sculpture. Um, what could we do with these? Think about if you, this was laying around in the Clark Eagle art studio, what could you do with it? Um, my daughter Gwen, she, one of her school assignments for second grade was to write to some doctors or nurses in hospitals um, and tell them that they're doing a great job and that they're being so brave. Um, so she took her bubble print paper, which kind of turned out like this, and she folded it into a card, um, put some stickers on the front, and then wrote a note inside that we're going to mail to one of the hospitals that her teacher listed for us. So you could make it into a card, like I said. You could even cut these up um, and make them into some sort of a collage. That would be kind of cool. Um, this could be a background for maybe um, a drawing that you do. This one kind of reminds me of like under the ocean maybe. Maybe I could cut and glue some fish or some sea life under or onto my paper that I made. Um, this one kind of reminds me a little bit more of the sky. So maybe you could use some markers and color on top of it because it is pretty light. So um, this would also be a really good paper that you could um, draw and color on. So see what you guys you know think, try it out. Let me know how you like it or if it didn't go so well, maybe I could help you figure out what went wrong or what maybe you could try differently next time. Um, but have fun, I miss you all and um, I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.